Hi, so we're Wet Paint uh, and we're doing our music video on indie rock. We've chosen to do the song uh, Like Eating Glass by Block Party and we've come up with quite a few music video ideas and we've managed to round them down into one storyboard and so we think that's what we're going to go with. We may make small changes as we go along uh, but so far we've got uh, one general idea that we're going to go along with. Strong concept which we think we can follow and make a good product with. Yeah. So basically, our music video idea uh, consists of a man uh, in three or four rooms. Uh, so the camera will enter, and this man will be sitting in a uh, a blank room, so no furniture or anything, and he's sitting in the middle of the room uh, crying. And the camera will pan round, and uh, it, you'll be able to see uh, a gap in another door, and inside that door you'll be able to see the symbol uh, of a drum kit. And what we really wanted to do was we wanted to intertwine the narrative and uh, the performance, uh, performance aspect uh, of the band and put the two together. We got this inspiration for originally from uh, the music video My Hero by Foo Fighters uh, and they use uh, they use um, the concept that the uh, band are completely oblivious to the actors and the actors are completely oblivious to the band uh, and it all takes place in a building that's burning down and the band have, uh, are completely oblivious to, that the building is on fire. So we kind of wanted to sort of follow this concept uh, but what they did was they used smoke machines and mirrors to uh, mask the cuts in the shots and so we want to keep some shots that um, look long and uh, really flow into one another, but we're not going to uh, follow it uh, to the same level as they were, uh, just because we don't have the same uh, budget and the same budget facilities, uh, to, do facilities to do that. So the main idea of our music video is that uh, this man is seeing different memories as he goes into the different rooms. So at first, the uh, well, camera will pan into the, a, a large room and he'll be having an argument with a partner. And in the background there'll be pictures of him being happy with his partner. Uh, and then you see the woman walk out and it, uh, the camera goes back to him. All the furniture is gone in the room uh, and the picture on the wall of the happy couple falls down, uh, obviously reflecting that this relationship is falling apart. Uh, also the uh, main chorus, which is, it's so cold in this house, will relate to all the furniture go, uh, being gone and it being uh, empty. Um, this is the uh, website I did. First, we've done a brief colour scheme idea. So the first one is black and purple, the second one is black and white, third one is red and grey, fourth one is black and orange, and the fifth one is orange and purple. These are just some of the conventions of indie rock and some of the colour schemes that possess the genre of indie rock. These are some of the band name logos, um, a rough idea of what um, we wanted to do. So this is kind of an eroded sort of band logo, so it kind of depicts the genre of indie rock. Nothing too simple, nothing too complex, so yeah, we've um, come up with a brief idea of what we wanted to do and we're going to narrow it down to the one that we're going to pick. This is the first web page that we've done. Um, the tags are all on the top there as a normal home page. Um, we've got the um, convention of wet paint, which is what our band name is called, and it's just the normal conventions of a web page. We've got the music video there, and here we try to be a bit creative. Um, as our band name is wet paint, we try to do in two yellow lines flowing through. Um, as I said, this is a rough idea, so we're going to improve on that, and that's something that we look to incorporate into our website. This is our second um, web page. Again, you've got the band at the top, and. This time we made it look a bit more official with the uh, shopping cart there so our audience can go in the store and buy whatever they need. Um, we've got the music video there again and we've also got um, news so our um, target audience can see what's going on and they can also share it with the Twitter page, the Facebook page and the email. And at the bottom we've got a copyright there. This is just something that we saw on the um, Indie Rock website so we tried to incorporate that as well. And again, this is the third one. Um, this one was different. We tried to um, we tried to um, get the inspiration from um, the band Block Party. So every time they scroll down, um, the page changes into a different colour. So when you go into the music page, it becomes red. When you go into the video page, it becomes blue. 
the live page becomes yellow and the uh, news page becomes green. This is um, this is almost an indie sort of vibe to the um, website, and this is something that we again look to um, use in our web page. From the um, questionnaires, we um, we no, we started to do a questionnaire to see which um, logo, web page, and um, Colour scheme will be best suited for any um, website web page. The first question is which web page is best suited for any web um, web page. The second question is which colour scheme or house style is best suited for any rock web page. And the third is which band logo is best suited for any rock drummer. This is to show that we posted our questionnaire on social networking such as Twitter to get a wider view on what we needed to do to improve our. Um, web page. Um, this is the results from our questionnaire from the um, um, which web page is best suited. As you can see, our audience shows the second one, so this is what we are trying to incorporate. It's the second web page, so we're going to take some of the um, ideas from here, maybe the banners on the top, maybe the news page, or the um, illustration at the bottom, just to make it more official and appeal to our audience. The um, second question is which colour scheme or house style was best suited for the Indie Rock page? As you can see here, our audience chose number five, and which is the orange and purple. So this is what we're going to try to use to appeal to our target audience, and hopefully will be best suited for the Indie Rock drum and finish. The last one is which band logo is best suited for our Indie Rock genre? And our target audience showed the third one, which is this. It's got an eroded look to it, which kind of suits our um, music video because it's called um, Light Eating Glass and it's kind of a uh, strong vibe and it's kind of you know, harsh if that makes sense so we've tried to use that to appeal to our audience a bit more. Right, in terms of DigiPack we came up with uh, a couple of ideas first. First idea we decided to keep it quite bland to follow conventions of traditional magazine uh, DigiPack such as Arctic Monkeys and stuff. So we kept it very clean, very cut to also give it a modernist theme to it which was to the target audience. Second one, we tried to add a little bit more colour into it. So this is the logo, which would actually have paint dripping off it, which links the conventions of the band of it being about band being called wet paint. So it links in, all links in. Uh, also, we have this image, which was just the band members, which shows who the, who is in the band and what the band is about. So this was our third different idea. As you see, we've incorporated the idea from the website of the two white lines which also go, again links to the ideas of the band and the ideologies of it. Also I've got this, well it's meant to look like roadkill, so that links into the genre of the music as well being quite dark, and also links into the song being like eating glasses about death, it's pain, it links into the band quite well. And as you can see this is a final, we went to a focus group and they looked at our three ideas and then we tried to incorporate what they thought looked good so as you can see we kept with the final image these are all stock images obviously in the final one we use our own images that's why I would prefer to have a more of a bird's eye view on this image just to make it look a bit more central and also less of the angle which I think ruins the picture slightly also we like the idea of having an actual an uh, person on the front cover which links into the video of being alone in the house uh, this was our um, pitch We'll probably develop a lot of these ideas uh, over the next few weeks. Uh, we're having to um, film during our half-term holiday, so we'll make sure the communication between us guys is really good, uh, so we know what times we're free and what times we can film. And we'll also have to um, work on making prop lists, uh, making sure that we all our actors are free. Uh, so there's a lot of organisation uh, that needs to go on. Uh, but at the moment everything seems to be going well and we should have a video in a few weeks.